The following video was made in 2019 in a series of three videos. Uh, I have combined the three videos into one and added comments. The video is a do-it-yourself DIY concerning fixing an extremely dangerous problem with the hydraulic controller on this 3038E. I do not know the actual cause of the problem but the result is that the end of the cover that covers what I believe is called the detent uh, popped off for lack of a better term. These parts are loader, loader model specific more than tractor model specific. The video covers uh, replacing the part as far as location of the part and what the part looks like. Uh, though I did not show the procedure as I have no stand for my camera and working with one hand holding a camera is not very feasible. If anyone else has had this problem, I would be very interested to know in the comments. Uh, please leave a comment and uh, any details that you would like to leave about it. Uh, if this is an ongoing problem, I think perhaps John Deere... Uh, needs to be made aware of it. Anyhow, thank you for watching. This little jewel is a valve controller for the hydraulics. That nose you saw was Ben's. Say hello Ben. Oh yeah, yes, you've got big old nose. Alright. Now this controller, oh really, this controller hooks up to those hoses right there, all right? That's what almost cost me my life the other day because as you can see, you see that spring? Well, you're not supposed to be able to see that spring. camera right here. There we go. So you're not supposed to be able to see that. The end of it busted off. And that caused the lift, which for those who don't know what a lift is, that is the front bucket lift, to act on its own. Uh, that that uh, video I did yesterday about the uh, about the um, hydraulic valve. This right here was a part that was broke. You see how you can see through it. That end broke off. This right here is the part that I replaced, and uh, uh, it came as a kit. It also came with this other part right here but I didn't have to replace that, so I'll just keep that. It was $137 for the kit, by the way. Um, all right. You'll see that I've added the uh, uh, mechanism on it for the uh, joystick. This right here is a lock. It locks, the, uh, locks it in place on the joystick. Now, what you have right here is, let me take a look at it here, just be sure. Okay, what you have right here is, this right here is stationary. These, this one, and this one right here are uh, the ones that actually move the plungers in there that uh, raise your um, lift up and down and tilt it. And uh, if you'll notice, this one right here sits perpendicular to this one, and this one sits parallel to the stationary one. This is really the main swivel, okay? So if you are putting one of these together, if any of you see this YouTube and you're trying to put one of these together, uh, that ought to give you kind of an idea how it goes back together. Because I had to figure it out. It wasn't fun. Okay, well, actually, it was fun. I like figuring things out. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, you know, sorry about that with the camera. Let me get this thing going. It's, it's, uh, it's made kind of cocky-locky here. Okay. Hang on. Okay. 
Okay. That's how the lever goes on. See, it screws in there. And uh, that's how it works. So, there's the top of the lever. And anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and install this. And I will get back with you later. Oh, and by the way, you'll notice that it is mounted. All right. And... Success.